Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be all about makeup sponges like this. I have gotten so many requests to do this type of video where I talk about the beauty blender and really good dupes or really good alternatives to the beauty blender because I know the beauty blender is a pricey little sponge and I'm always asked like, okay, well, what's the best dupe? What's the best alternative? And I've been wanting to do this video for weeks, but I wanted to make sure that I tried out the sponges as much as I could because I bought a ton of them just to test them out and to show them to you guys. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna tell you all about makeup sponges, the good and the bad, because some of these are really, really great alternatives or dupes to the Beauty Blender, but some of these are not. I'm gonna talk to you about prices, I'm gonna show you how they look damp and how they look dry, just so you can see comparisons. The whole nine yards, we will be talking about them today. I know there's a ton of YouTubers who have done this video before, but I thought I would give my opinions as well, and it was so requested. I'm actually gonna leave, because I'm pretty sure Tati just recently did one, and Mariah, so I will leave their videos down below just in case you want a second and third opinion. So I'm gonna first talk about my four favorite makeup sponges. I highly recommend these. I'm gonna kinda go in order from like best all the way to least. So I don't wanna talk too much about this because I know you guys have heard about this one a million times. This is the Beauty Blender. The original color is pink, and I don't know where my pink Beauty Blender is. I think the Savage might have taken it. Supposedly the different colors are for different things. They have a black one, a white one, a pink one, I don't know. To me, they all do the same thing. I really can't tell the difference, but it is also the most expensive one out of all of them. This is a $20 sponge, which is a really high price point, but I don't think there's ever been a brand who has duped it 100%, like literally duping the exact same sponge. There's something really special about the Beauty Blender, at least I think so. When you run it underwater and you squish it a few times, it does expand and it does get much bigger, but it doesn't really retain any water and it doesn't soak up your foundation. This is like my favorite way to apply foundation, especially if you have dry skin, because it kind of thins out your foundation and makes it look a little bit more natural and takes away the cakiness that some foundations can give you. So it is 20 bucks, but I do think the Beauty Blender is worth the money. I have one that I love just as much as this. Like this is my favorite, but then and this one is also my favorite and to be quite honest I actually reach for this one more than my beauty blender this sponge is from the brand pure and it is their contouring blending sponge and this is my holy grail besides the beauty blender color. this is my favorite sponge I think it's perfect not only because of the density and the way it applies makeup but I love the shape of this just like the beauty blender when you wet it and you like rinse out the water it does like double in size this one isn't as squishy there's a little bit more density to this but I don't find that it sucks up any of my foundation. Well, I mean, it's a sponge that sucks up foundation, but some sponges like will take all of your foundation. This one doesn't do that. It gives me a flawless application just like the Beauty Blender does, and I think it has a better shape than the Beauty Blender. It has the same roundness, so it's really easy to apply your foundation this way, or you could even use the flat side, really similar to the Real Techniques, that you can just apply your foundation like this but I prefer to use it on this side. What I love about the slant is that like, I kind of put my finger like this and I squeeze it and I get right up underneath my eyes. I love the shape for that. It's really, really precise. Like this angle tip makes it so precise and you blend out all your concealer without getting anything on your eyes or any concealer on your eyeshadow. And I also love the flat side to bake. I don't really bake that often, but when I do, I'll like dip this into my RCMA, line it up to my contour, and it bakes perfectly because of this flat side. The best part is that this is $12, almost half the price of the Beauty Blender, so very affordable. The only thing is that I'm pretty sure you have to get it on purecosmetics.com. I don't know anywhere else that sells it. It used to come with a contour stick, but now you can buy it individually. Highly, highly recommend. The next one is way more popular than the pure one. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Perfecting Sponge. There are a couple of cons to this sponge that I'll get into, but overall, I have dog hair all over these sponges. This one isn't too dense, which I really love. You know, it's nice and bouncy, and it just works really well. I do feel like it sucks up a little bit of product, like more than the Beauty Blender does, but it's nothing compared to others that I've tried in the past. They even sell this in a two-pack at Ulta for $10.99, which is a really really great deal the only thing I don't love about this sponge is that it tears pretty badly 
I don't know, I've never had that experience with any of my other sponges, but I go through the Real Techniques one faster than I go through any of the other ones. It's like every time I wash this, maybe I'm a little bit too aggressive, but every time I wash my Real Technique sponge, I find that I kind of rip it or I tear it just a little bit. And I don't know why this specific sponge, like why that happens if it doesn't happen to my other ones. I don't know. And the other thing I don't love is the shape. I know everyone loves the shape and it is similar to my pure one, but I kind of wish it had a round side because I prefer to apply my foundation on this kind of surface than this kind of surface. I know that's weird, but that's just how I feel. And I highly, highly recommend the Real Techniques one. And then fourth on my list for favorites is this sponge right here. I don't hear anyone at all talking about this sponge. This one is from the brand Mascara Beauty. You can find this at MascaraBeauty.com. I believe that she was a blogger who created a makeup line. And this is called their uh, 3D Perfector. This sponge specifically is latex free and it is $13. So again, more affordable than the Beauty Blender. And I have to be honest, this one is the closest dupe to the Beauty Blender in terms of shape, in density, in application, in everything. The only thing is, of course, this one is just a little bit squishier. This one is a little bit more dense. It's just a tad stiffer. That is the only reason it's not 100% dupes, but besides that, this one comes pretty freaking close. It doesn't retain water. It doesn't soak up my foundation. It really is a phenomenal sponge and I wish more people knew about it because it's not as cheap as like real techniques but it's so affordable compared to the beauty blender and I highly highly recommend this one okay so the next three sponges I want to talk about all together because they have the exact same shape two of these are already wet so I can't show you a before and after of what they look like dry versus wet but since one of these is not dry you kind of have an idea but anyway these are the three sponges I want to talk about the exact same shape but they are from different brands these two are wet and this one is dry you can see the size difference when this one is dry it is the exact same size as this one this one is from elf I have two separate elf sponges I'm going to talk about in this video this one is just called their blending sponge now this this one is my least favorite out of the three. It's five bucks, so it's the cheapest so far that I've spoken about, but I don't think it's good and I don't think it's worth it even though it is five dollars. It is just way too stiff. I'm not sure if you can tell when I bounce it. Even when it's wet, it's way too stiff. Obviously, once you wet these sponges, they get a little bit softer and they get bouncier, but this one is still stiff when it's wet. I don't find it soaks up too much product, unlike the other elf sponge I'm gonna talk about, but it's just too rough for me. Like, I feel like I'm like hurting my face when I'm using this. This one right here is in the middle out of the three in terms of favorites. This is from the brand Swissco, and I found it on Ulta, like on the Ulta website. It's their Precision Blending Sponge, and this one was, $5.99 I believe. It's not as stiff as the e.l.f. one. This one I do recommend. I actually do like the shape. I like that it comes to like a point to get underneath the eyes even though it is a little bit too fat for my liking but you can always like squish it. And I like that it has this ridge here because when you are applying your foundation your hands cup this sponge perfectly like beautifully. This does retain more water than the Beauty Blender does but regardless it's a very good affordable sponge but it is much much softer. I was extremely shocked when I first wet this and applied this. This is actually a Morphe sponge. They came out with two new sponges. This one is called their Flawless Beauty Sponge. They also have a black one with the weirdest shape ever, but I completely lost mine. I have no idea where it went. I don't like the shape of the black one at all. I just, I don't picture myself using that one because the shape is so weird. This one though, their Flawless Beauty Sponge is actually really, really nice. There's a ton of brands that have this shape and most of them, like 95% of them are so stiff like the e.l.f. one. Can you tell? This one is way bouncier. I love the texture of this one. I do find that, again, it soaks up a little bit more foundation compared to my Pure One and my uh, Beauty Blender. But I believe this sponge is only like $5, which is so affordable. The only thing is that this one does bleed in color. I had purchased the Red Beauty Blender and after washing it like three times, it pretty much turned pink. Like there was so much red dye coming out of that sponge when I was washing it that it totally turned me off and I didn't use that one anymore but this one even though it does bleed red it's not as bad as the beauty blender like I've washed it a few times now and it's still a nice bright red color 
overall really great sponge if you are looking for an alternative to the Beauty Blender. The next sponge I want to talk about is from Ulta. This came in a little box with two of them. It's their Makeup Blending Sponge Duo. So it came with two of them. This one is wet because I was trying to get the foundation out of it. This little duo is 10 bucks, so pretty much $5 a sponge. Really, really affordable, but I don't love these. I think that they have better options. This one does soak up a lot of product. And you can see here, like it's so hard to get the foundation out of this sponge because it like, it really, really soaks it up. And I don't like that, especially when I'm trying to blend out my concealer underneath my eyes. When I see that a sponge is kind of taking away the coverage of my concealer, that's where I'm like, eh not my favorite. That's the only thing I don't love about it because it is nice and bouncy. It's not too rough on my face. It's not too stiff. It has nice texture, but it soaks up too much. So the last two sponges I will be talking about are my least favorite sponges. I'm not going to talk about them too long because I just spoke about them in a disappointing products video, but this is an e.l.f. sponge from eyeslipsface.com and I purchased this. It came in a trio and it's called their like precision sponge trio and it was $12 for the set, which isn't bad because you're getting uh, three sponges and they were all different sizes. This one soaks up so much foundation. It almost sucks up more foundation than it applies on my face. I have tried to wash this sponge like a hundred times to get that foundation stain out of it and it, it doesn't go anywhere. It's like in that sponge for life. I find it to be such a waste of money because all your foundation, like all the money you spent on your foundation is being collected in this. And the texture is so weird. Like it doesn't have any pores like any of the other sponges. It's like, oh. And then the last sponge I will be talking about is the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. That's the name of it, the Quickie Blending Sponge. Unlike all of the sponges I spoke about today, this one does not expand much when you rinse it underwater. Like, it, it doesn't expand at all, really. Not that the size has anything to do with the way that it blends, but it doesn't get bouncy and it doesn't get soft. So it's a very, very rough sponge. I don't like this at all. It's just, it's too rough on my face. It doesn't blend out the foundation nicely. And I don't like the fact that this round part is a pointy round part. Like it's not round like this sponge. It kind of comes to a point. So I find it so weird to apply foundation. I love Tarte as a brand, but this sponge was an ultimate fail in my opinion. And this sponge is 16 bucks. But yeah, those were all sponges that I've tried within the past two months. And those are my thoughts on them. I think I'm pretty solid for now and I won't have to buy a sponge for a long time. But yeah, that completes this video. I hope it was informative or enjoyable or whatever. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You can't tell, but... A cup... Why would the postman beep? Why? Does... Oh, damn it. No, por favor. This one is just so easy to bounce.